Donald yeah. Trump does not want the truth to come out. That's if obvious. he were so sure that he was right, yes. he would have said to us, have the witnesses. There have been 16 impeachment <laughs> trials. In only one was there no witnesses. How do you run a trial with no witnesses and documents, no evidence? Yeah, well, That's he what can't McConnell handle wants. The truth. Oh, what a tired old line that is. That was Chuck Schumer on The View yesterday, once again calling for more witnesses and documents ahead of the impeachment trial. Our next guest served with the Senate in the Senate with Schumer for nearly 20 years. And he says he knows exactly what tricks the minority leader might try to pull. Joining us now exclusively, former Senator and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. All right, Senator, what sort of little chicanery will Schumer try to pull here? Well, one big thing he's going to do, and it's pretty obvious, uh, they know that when this presentation is made by the managers, it's going to be insufficient, nowhere close to impeachable, and they've got to change that narrative, and so their narrative is there's some other witnesses that we can call, some other evidence. They've been saying that for three-plus years. Every week there's something new and explosive is going to be out there. It's time to bring this thing to a conclusion. It's time to bring it forward to the Senate and have a vote and decide this matter. The American people are not happy. I've traveled all over Alabama. I've talked to people in 5,000 miles we've traveled in recent weeks. They are hot about this. They think there are other things that need to be done for this country that are not being done, and they are tired of this uh, charade. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, here, here's how the House's top two impeachment managers reacted to questions about Hunter Biden testifying. Anybody like Hunter Biden who has no information is not a relevant witness. But the desire to have Hunter Biden, for example, this is a desire just to continue the smear campaign that they sought to get the Ukrainians to do. Hunter Biden doesn't have relevant information in this trial. Should Hunter Biden be asked to testify? Well, absolutely. If we go to witnesses, uh, he is absolutely relevant to the president's concern that something may have been covered up when the prosecutor in Ukraine that was investigating this company uh, was removed. So I just think that's inevitable. But the Senate is going to have to wrestle with it, and they'll do as I think McConnell has predicted. They'll hear the arguments, they'll see what the evidence is, and decide if there'll be any witnesses. But if they are witnesses, uh, certainly they'll be, uh, they should be called from both sides. Now, Senator, tell us about this, uh, the moderate Republican senators, and Th this desire to be seen as taking this all seriously when this was a fraud from day one, from the shift work with the whistleblower to the no quid pro quo to the no underlying crime to the hearsay, all a zero. And yet we're supposed to go through this nonsense and waste everybody's time and money for another two weeks? And, 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 and McConnell can't, you know, get uh, Manchin and Doug Jones to... <laughs> You know, come around to the to the side of uh, good sense here, and, and Romney, Collins, Murkowski. I, I I've got to say, it, it puzzles me. Well, I do think the Republicans are. It's time for them to toughen up. There is not an impeachment case here. This is a terrible, terrible abuse of the awesome impeachment power. And the first time this has ever happened uh, uh, in our history, and it should not be done. And so the Republicans need to. Uh, Think clearly. Uh, they need to call it what it is, an abuse of the process. And you are right. Uh, they don't need to give it to, uh, uh, any real credibility because the evidence is not going to justify this charge, it seems uh, to me, quite so, clearly. Attorney General Sessions, another uh, this question. Let's say Chuck Schumer knows this is going to go down. I mean, that's going to go down in flames. But tells Doug Jones, if you need to vote against impeachment, to try to help your, yourself with the voters of Alabama, go ahead and do it. Would that pose a problem and for you? No, uh, but I think that Chuck Schumer will absolutely do that. That's exactly the way he thinks, because there's not going to be enough votes to get an impeachment, uh, for heaven's sakes. And so it makes no difference to him how he cast his ballot, I think, in the end. So he may well tell him just that. But Doug Jones has supported Nancy Pelosi's uh, holding back the impeachment articles. He has supported the witnesses, only the witnesses 
that Chuck Schumer wants to see called. So I think he's made clear which side he's on. Yeah, and if he's, he's uh, if he had the chance, and he'll vote for Schumer as the uh, majority leader. Yeah, it's transparent. Senator, it's great to see you. Um, thanks so much for coming on tonight. And